Hello, welcome back to another figure review of mine. Today we're going to take a look at the Ultimate Dante figure from NECA. Um, here you can see Ivan posed up against uh, Captain America. It's a pretty cool figure to pose, pretty cool figure to have, to play around with. It's a 7 inch scale figure. Let's see, I will uh, let him stand next to my Captain America. From Marvel Legends, of course, the Cat Wolf, who stands six and a half inches himself. So let's see. <clears throat> Here you can see him next to Captain America, like that. <clears throat> you can see he will stand taller because it is a se six, seven inch scale figure. Now, let's take a look at the accessories from this figure. He comes with two or three weapons. Let's see, he comes with this weapon. A hand cannon, um, which is pretty detailed as you can see, little screws, golden trigger, brown gripping part. And also this one, the black one, with also screws, golden trigger, nice little details on this. Still a little bit silver here where the bullet chamber is. And a nice old school look shotgun with two screws, also with little details on it. Nice wood, wood made things. It also comes with effect parts you can pack onto the guns like that it will stay on pr pretty well like this yeah he also comes with two hands two gripping hands for the guns let's see he will hold it perfectly like that He also comes with his sword, of course. Let's see, you can see little skulls here beneath the sword. Nice little details, the dragon. And a metallic looking sword, which looks pretty good. Nice glossy metallic look it has. Let's take a look at the package. Package pretty cool. You can see Dante pose with his sword and his guns. Inside, nothing special. The name of the game here as well. The top as well. Bottom is nothing. And in the back, you can see pictures of the game. Three points of articulation, so action and some information about uh, Dante. Which you can see here as well. If you want to read it, pause it. Here you can see another picture of Dante, the figure posed up, and the background. It's pretty cool of the box. The dungeon, it's kind of some kind of dungeon, as you can see here. It's a pretty cool looking dungeon, all reminds me of the game again. Now, this is from Devil May Cry 1, I play 4. It won't go, won't go in. Let's take a look at the figure itself. This figure is pretty cool, pretty detailed. I like the paint apps on it. Uh, the jacket is loose, it's not you can remove it if you really want to in some kind of way. I don't know how, but it will be able to go off. It isn't glued on or something. It's a little soft rubbery material on the top. Here it's a little bit harder. As you can see. Um, his jacket 
here is a little bit more of a soft material, plastic rubbery material. And, uh, and also here by its crotch so it won't be limit the articulation. His face sculpt is, I must say, his skin is a little bit on the dark side. His lips are a little bit dark too as well. A little bit purple colored lips. I'm not sure if I really like that, but we have. I have to live with it. I can live with it. You will get used to it in time. In the back of the figure, he looks like this. Pretty cool. His boots look pretty cool as well. Nice black boots, a little paint shifting here, but doesn't matter for me. Two belts here on his upper thigh, two, three belts on his chest, a nice thick belt on his buckle, uh, his crotch uh, area. Now, let's take a look at the articulation. His head can move down, up like this, rotate. His arm can move out to there. He has a bicep swivel or some kind. He has a, no. He, he his shoulder rotates and he has a rotation here at the elbow, I believe. Yeah. Let's see. I believe he has a uh, ball joint or something at the elbow. Some kind of new material, but single jointed elbow. I don't. I'm not for sure, but. Articulates goes to there, but the jacket limits it from moving further. Um, let's see. I don't know if he has an ab crunch a little. He does have an ab crunch, yeah. He does have an ab crunch. Because this is soft material, it won't be hindered by that. So he does have a little bit of an ab crunch. He can kick forward because this is soft material, rubbery material at his crotch, so he can kick forward to there backwards to there, his feet can move out to there, double jointed knees which can bend in pretty far as you can see um, then let's take a look at the ankle rope articulation, his feet can rotate, move up and down and he does have an ankle pivot so let's see, he can hold the sword and let's put, let him hold the shotgun because I like the shotgun like this this figure is out of production so NECA stopped the production on these figures on the NECA and the Dante figure so if you want to have one you need to be fast because they will leave shells really soon um, my overall conclusion on this figure is if you're really a big fan of the game I will definitely will recommend this figure but if you are just like me a little bit just like oh man I was just in a game store and I saw this one and I thought yeah I need to pick it up you know let's want to see if this is something or I don't know what and um, I regret it a little if I have to be honest. Uh, it does look cool man if you have it in your hand like this so you can go either way. The head sculpt is uh, pretty weird. No not weird it's something you get must get used to as you can see. But it will it isn't that bad. So, this was my figure review on the Dante Ultimate Dante figure. You can get some cool poses out of this guy. You know, two uh, guns, uh, or one sword and a gun. Uh, just like that, standing more up. You can do everything with this guy, man. It's a pretty cool figure nonetheless. I will definitely will recommend it. Because it isn't that expensive. It's cheap. It's cheap figure, and you can get, you can get you'll get uh, a lot from it. Bang, 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 bang. As you can see, it's a pretty good action figure. 
So that was my figure review on the Ultimate Dante figure. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I will try to post two or three reviews a day. So, see you guys later.